So you've got five minutes to practice, but what the hell do you practice? <laughs> So yes, I hear it all the time. I haven't got much time to practice. I've got five minutes to practice. I've got 10 minutes to practice. I've got two minutes to practice. I was actually gonna call this video about no, using two minutes to practice, but I thought, no, two minutes is nothing. So let's call it five minutes. If you can do more, please do more. But here's a few ideas what might help you kind of get a little bit of a, a schedule, a bit of a routine, a bit of an idea on what to practice if you've got a spare five minutes or so to practice, to practice, to practice said instrument. So the first thing I would say is chords because chords are everything in music really and especially in guitar and also it helps build the knowledge up on the guitar neck. Now I'm not saying, okay, I've got a C chord. <laughs> I've got a G chord. I'm not saying that. I'm saying trying to play them all down the guitar neck. So one thing in particular which is really cool is the caged system. Now, if you don't know about the caged system, there's a link in the description box below what will take you to my website where I've got a lesson talking about the caged system for major and minor. I do encourage you to check it out if you haven't done so already. It'll be very, very useful and helpful. But let's take a C chord and let's take an F chord. And then what we're gonna do is literally play that down the guitar neck. So we've got a C using the C shape and now an F chord using the E shape. A C chord using the A shape. F chord using the D shape. C chord using the G shape. Uh, F chord using the C shape. C chord using the E shape. F chord using the A shape. C chord using the D shape. Uh, F chord using the G shape. C chord using the C shape. And F chord using the E shape again. Okay, and then start moving around the guitar neck with it and, and start playing a rhythmic musical phrase. G at the end there, but I just started mucking around between each shape there, you know. So, so you got C here using the E, and then F chord using the D shape. Now, I'm just using the top three strings of it as well. So, And then bit by bit you get to just have fun, start you know, funking things up a little bit. Then if you've got time, do another one. But if you're just, we're just doing five minutes, so that's a few minutes just there. That could be the full five minutes, in fact, just using this idea. So hopefully that gives you an idea what I'm talking about there. We've taken two chords, C and F, and started playing them all down the guitar neck. And you're building up the knowledge and also your faculties in each hand there, you know. And then you can start seeing that you don't have to do the whole shape, so that would be... And I'm just doing the top three strings of both those shapes there.
give that a go. And then if you've got a couple of extra minutes after doing that, <laughs> another thing I would say is that, you know, the good old spider exercise. Um, for kind of working on your coordination, your picking and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's all good, but it's not the most musical thing in the world. Um, so I would encourage doing stuff like that, but in a musical scale. So you could take good old pentatonic, but hopefully if you're watching this, you, you know your pentatonics. If you don't, then I would use that in your practice routine, but going down all five shapes. So there, all five shapes, kind of going down the shape, back up it, going to the next one. And notice there, I was doing that all in there. I was going quick for the purpose of the video, but it was all in time there. I had a metronome in my head going, all down up picking. Um, and then, you know, again, this is if you don't know your pentatonics as well as you probably should. Um, when you go down one, go up and to the next one. You know, could try that. Now, like I said, hopefully you know your pentatonics a little bit already if you're watching this. So another thing I would say is try it with major scale. So say we've got our three note per string. So that's a G major scale right there. So G, A, B, so three, five, seven. And then C, D, E, three, five, seven. F sharp, G, A, four, five, seven. B, C, D, four, five, seven. E, F sharp, G, five, seven, eight. And A, B, C, five, seven, eight. Now you could go up and down it, up and down it, that kind of thing. But, you know, again, you want to get to know it quite well. So one thing I like to do is this. So what we're doing there, I'm going down the first four notes, then I'm going to the second note of the scale, so I'll be going back to the A, and then go down one, two, three, four, and then go to the third note of the scale, then go down the four again, then I'll be going back to the C, and then be going back to the, F, uh, so the D, sorry, and then to the E, then to the F sharp, G, then to the A, then to the B, then to the C, then to the D, then to the E, then to the F sharp, then to the G, and then finish back on the G. So you go down four and then back to the next note in the scale, go down four to the next one after that. on that root note and then so once you get that kind of pattern in your head you can try that in other shapes you know hopefully you'll encourage you then to learn other shapes
So, you know, obviously this is five minutes we want. So you could do a couple minutes on the chords and then you know, finish it off with the picking idea. And then say tomorrow you've got another five minutes or later on in the day, hopefully you've got another five minutes, you could try another shape, another you know, major scale shape, minor scale shape, what you hopefully know, uh, and put that in to that five minutes routine. So if you, can, if you think of it this way, if you can do kind of six lots of five minutes throughout the day, throughout 24 hours, um, I say 24 hours, obviously we sleep hopefully between six to eight, but you get what I mean. Um, but if you can do, you know, six lots of five minutes sporadically through the day, that's 30 minutes there, isn't it? So hopefully this has given you some ideas of what to practice if you got five minutes. I could go all day talking about some other things. If you would like me to do another video talking about this, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, and like I said, regarding the K system, do check out my website, mikebradleymusic.com, and you can uh, check out the major K, major K system on there. I can play it a lot easier than I can say it. <laughs> and the minor K system, as well as some other lessons which you will never find on YouTube. And also you can get some music, you can, you know, some CDs of mine, and you can get some T-shirts, and you can, email me and say hello if you like to as well. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. Hopefully it's helped. Keep me up to date how you're getting on with your five minute kind of workouts, five minute practice sessions, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'll be Mike Bradley, you've been you. I hope you're doing well as always. I'll see you in the next video. Mike Bradley, very much shining out. Boy! Fade it away.